Welcome to Storyteller TV. Classic children's stories from around the world. staring at his favourite poster. Terrific! Space Blazer, the bike for the space age. What a machine! Every night before he went to sleep, he gazed at it for ages. One particular summer night, he had just closed his eyes when he heard a strange humming sound. He sat bolt upright and saw the poster shaking wildly. Then, with a sudden whoosh, the bike burst off the wall and roared onto the floor. I gasped in amazement and fell out of bed. There, in his room, was a full-size space blazer and the girl from the picture, as large as life. Um, who, who are you? gulped Mike. I'm Tina and I'm a space rider. Come on, don't just sit there. Let's go for a ride. Very quietly, Mike helped Tina carry the space blazer down the dark stairs and out into the garden. Cool, Mum and Dad will have a fit if they see me. As soon as they were outside in the moonlight, Tina jumped onto the space blazer and zoomed off. Watch this, Mike. You can do super wheelies on the space blazer. Mike was itching for a ride, and as soon as Tina dismounted, he leapt onto the space blazer. Well, that was all right, I suppose, but watch me! He was just about to move off when he stopped short. But I haven't got a space helmet! Tina pointed at his head. You're wearing it! She laughed. It was so light that he hadn't even noticed. Every now and then, it hissed softly. That's the oxygen. Mike had a shimmering spacesuit too, with big pockets for space rations. He jumped onto the bike and rode off to practice wheelies. First, he wobbled one way, then the other, but at last he made it. But doing wheelies was hard work. Oh, I wish it had an engine, he complained. But it's got power rockets. You just push that button on the handlebars. No, don't touch it, don't! But it was too late. As Mike pressed the button, there was a low rumble under the seat and the rocket splattered into life. Push the cutout switch! yelled Tina. Where, where, where is it? Before Tina could reply, there was a mighty roar and a sheet of purple flame burst from the back of the bike. Mike shot off across the garden and screamed straight towards his dad's car. Patang went the front wheels that hit the car bumper. Ka-chow went the rockets as the bike zoomed up its sloping back. But it didn't come down on the other side. Tina watched helplessly as Mike clung on. Hold and on, the bike Mike. took off into the night sky. 